So we're going to focus now on the strong nuclear force. These protons in the nucleus, the blue colored balls, repel each other through the Coulomb force. It's Coulomb's law. We talked about it this semester. How are they stuck together inside of this nucleus? And the answer is the strong force. Gravity um, is negligible for the, such small particles. It can't possibly be responsible for holding these together. Gravity is only important for big things like planets and, and stars and things. And so the, the definition of the strong nuclear force is that it is the force that causes nucleons to attract. So that's all the level that we're going to go to in this class. It's really a graduate level physics class to, to get much deeper into the strong force. We're also s asked to state its range of action. How long of dis how big of distances does it operate over? Obviously, when you have two positive charges out here at a distance of a few centimeters, uh, the strong force isn't attracting them together. The strong force is only important on very, very, very short length scales. And, and in fact, it applies when nucleons are separated by at most about 10 to the minus 15 meters, about the size of that tiny, tiny nucleus. And, and outside of that distance, the strong force doesn't play a role. It's essentially zero. So it overcomes the Coulombic repulsion on these very, very short length scales, and, and then it plays no role for larger length scales. The uh, number of neutrons needed for a stable nucleus is governed by the competition between the Coulomb repulsion. So Coulomb repulsion is still present in the nucleus. It's trying to drive those protons apart. And the strong force, which draws the nucleus together. The strong force acts between two protons. It also acts between two neutrons. And the strong force attracts protons to neutrons. It attracts in all of those particles it attracts together. So the more neutrons you put in there, the more strong force you have holding that nucleus together. So as you increase the number of protons in a nucleus, that's this number here, so starting with one, one proton for hydrogen would be down here, then helium, etc. As you increase the number of protons, that Coulombic repulsion gets greater and greater. And so what you need for a stable nucleus is to add more and more neutrons in. And, and that's what you see here. This, is, uh, this red line is where the number of neutrons equals the number of protons. And if the number of neutrons equal the number of protons in a nucleus, then all these points for all these atoms would, uh, would lie along this line, but they don't. As you get uh, more and more protons to overcome that Coulombic repulsion, you add more neutrons. So, the, so this curve says that the number of neutrons is greater than the number of um, protons in order to get a stable nucleus. Um, yeah, so the neutrons are acting like glue.